Hey guys, how's it going? This is the action editor. This is basically a blueprint design interface for a tool slash plugin that essentially allows you to create effects with a timeline, as you can see right here. You can see the tiles. These are color coded. You can see create and also play here uh, with this um, interaction with this drop down list interaction. So we can actually click on this tile and you can see that we can customize the color and also on the stroke just like so here is the play we can move this around as you can see a line right here uh, right on layer 3 it's very easy to create um, oops to create your own tile so uh, let's say we want to go for like I don't know some kind of size property right here we can make this like I don't know red I guess like a pinkish red and right here we have a properties panel we have view to view and if we look at the right side all of the options are in a list layout right here and right here we have a drop down list to adjust your uh, easing style linear uh, sine quad cubic as you can see and obviously this is a design blueprint um, you can customize this but obviously you would have to adjust these to offset as you can see you could uh, elongate this frame you can add more stuff if you want if you don't have some kind of uh, technical expertise, I would not recommend you um, to grab this uh, because this is more so directed towards programmers and engineers uh, specifically. So if you are a programmer, uh, you could easily add your own functionality, your own code to this blueprint design right here. And you could basically uh, personalize and make this your very own tooling software plugin to help you develop and uh, enhance your workflow. You can see all of the icons up here. We can uh, change the color as well. So green, um, you could create interactions like uh, hover effects, click effects. Let's take a look at the construction um, of the UI. We have a UI list layout uh, you can go from offset values uh, increase we can go to a scale uh, value as you can see let me show you guys the action panel right here two uh, containers right in here we have a grid layout so we can just basically go like that and then we can uh, add some padding right here so offset for example 10 or 15 you can see we have quite a nice uh, design going on here and as I've already showed you it is very easy to make your own tiles uh, obviously you can scroll all right thank you guys for listening to me for so long uh, thank you for giving me your time much more of this kind of stuff is going to be coming to GFX comment so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day.